I'm here with Alabama native and season nine semifinalist of America's Got Talent, Jacob Curley, to talk about his upcoming debut album. Jake, Jacob, thank you so much for coming into the show today. No problem. Thanks for having me. All right. So first off, I just want you to tell us a little bit about your album. Okay. Um, my album is called Things I Never Said. Okay. And uh, the kind of the whole concept behind it is when I was on America's Got Talent, I played kind of the same type of music. Um, everything was kind of slow, um, kind of like ballads in a sense. And of course, this album kind of emphasizes on that as well. But it also shows the things that people, the other side of me that people don't really know. So it's kind of like the things that I never said. And so it's kind of like a window into what I have to bring to the music industry. All right, and it's being released this Sunday, correct? Yeah, this Sunday it comes out. All right, out. so how are you feeling? I bet, are you excited, nervous? Yeah, um, it, it, it's kind of crazy because um, it's not like you're playing covers. Um, and Because and, when you play covers, people are going to love it. And so to put yourself out there, you're putting your own uh, uh, work out there, and, and so everybody can kind of criticize it or enjoy it or whatever it may be. And so it's nerve-wracking, but I'm also excited because I have a lot of fans who are looking forward to hearing it and uh, enjoying it as much as I enjoy playing it. So did you write all of the songs yourself? Yeah, um, it was uh, me and my producer Jonathan, and it's kind of crazy. We uh, all but two of the songs we wrote in a week. Um, we made the he produced everything and we wrote them in a week. I wrote all the songs and he produced all the, uh, the tracks, and it, it was it was really it kind of it kind of it, it flew it flew by. It went really really quickly, but I think that's when music is created. Um, if it comes that easy, then it's going to be something good, you know. And it, it's um, yeah, I think it, I think it's pretty good. Wow. So I bet. Um Tell me about how, like, what all you've had to do, you know, to get an album and then, of course, like, start to produce it and then, of course, like, get it released. So right. what kind of steps do you have to take for that? Um, well, I guess it all started when I, when I uh, got off of America's Got Talent. Um, a lot of people don't know is they kind of cut ties with, with you. Um, you're kind of on your own. And I went back and it was kind of like being 19 years old and you had no connections. It was just uh, you're playing music. And um, God's continuously blessed me. And I really owe a lot of credit. I mean, every, I owe everything to God. And so he's, he's brought people into my life to help boost my career. And so I met Jonathan uh, through a friend of a friend. And he really loved what I did. He loved my work. And he said, you know what? I want to produce your entire album for free. He has a recording Ooh. studio. So a lot of people, it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to make an album. But he said, I want to do it for free. I want to work together. I really like you as a person. And I love your music. So let's work together and do this. And we went on and we kind of sat down and had a game plan. So we went on as independents. So we... Every dime that goes into the album, we put into it, and so it's, it, it kind of emphasizes how excited I am to have this to go out, because I want to bring it to my fans, and so I'm willing to lose money to gain money and to gain yeah. fans, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and so it, it was difficult to kind of wrap your head around um, not having a label, a major label behind us, because there's always like a, a, a parachute. You know, they'll help you out and so it's kind of like when you're on your own you have to make those key decisions and and do all those things by yourself but it, it's been yeah. a blast and I, I wouldn't want to do it any other way so cool so your album like which how is it going to be released on so, of course I think Spotify and iTunes any other platforms yeah um, there's uh, Amazon music uh, as you said iTunes Spotify uh, and then iHeartRadio, I have a station for that, so it's going to play my album along with whatever sounds kind of like my album. Um, we also have hard copies, and so we put those on pre-order. Um, and uh, if you pre-order it, which it's still going on until Sunday, if you pre-order it, you get an autograph, a handwritten letter, and we ship it directly to you, free shipping and handling and everything. So, yeah, it's. Um, but you can still order a hard copy even mm -hmm. after it comes out. Um, and it comes with a booklet and everything and, and kind of like a thank you to all the fans for supporting me as much as they have so far. All right. How can you order a hard copy? A hard copy, all you have to do is go to uh, thingsineversaid.com and it'll come up and it'll have, uh, it'll have just you can buy the single and it directs you to my iTunes page uh, if you don't want to buy the hard copy. But also it'll have a section for the hard copy and okay. you, get, uh, you just click it and it'll ask for all the information. And uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, I'm sure releasing an album that's been exciting for you. So now I want to talk some about your experience on America's Got Talent. So first of all, like, what was that like for you being on there? It's 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 hard to explain um, when you're 18 years old and you get out of high school. I, I was still in high school and all your friends are like, oh, I'm going to Auburn. I'm going to South Alabama. I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. And you have this secret because I couldn't tell anybody when I was on the show because it hadn't aired yet. And um, it, it was crazy. I, I went from having 100 followers on Twitter to having 4,000 in 20 minutes and wow. being the number one trending thing in the world that night. That was fantastic. And it was just a roller coaster ride and, and going to New York and having people recognize you in your hometown, people coming up to you and, and saying that you're an inspiration and that they love what you do. And that's that's something that I can't really express. I can't really put into words. It's just a feeling that I hope that everybody can obtain at some point in their life. Cool. Um, so what has it been like for you being pretty much known locally 
to now having like this entire fan base? Um, it's, it's humbling because um, you still have those friends um, that have been there since the beginning, but also you have the new friends and the new fans that, you, that you've made. Um, and it's really cool because it, it's when you get on Twitter or when you get on Instagram and you just say something like, how's your day? There's 100 people that are going to say, mine's great, or this, that, that. And, and also there's, there's the side where a lot of people, when I was on the show, um, especially with my story with me being adopted and being in the foster system, there are a lot of kids who were contacting me and saying, like, you know what, you saved my life. Um, saying that they, they didn't know how long they were going to make it until they saw my video and it was inspirational to them. And it's things like that that are kind of like, it's more than just music. Um, and so it's kind of the message behind the music. And that's something that was really, really awesome about being on America's Got Talent because it gave me that platform. Mm -hmm. And to be able to help people out, that was, I mean, that was a dream come true. Before the interview, you were telling me you have three inspiration messages that you yeah. have to tell everyone. Um, it's uh, faith, family, and a dream. And uh, faith, you have to have faith in yourself and, and faith in God. That's, that's where I, I draw my faith, family. And family is not always what you're born into. And I think point in case me. Um, but it's also the people that you surround yourself with. Um, and it's, if you have a goal, you want to uh, surround yourself with people who have that same goal so you can both be successful. And a dream, I think everybody has a dream. I mean, mine was music, but some people want to be, they want to be, accountants, very successful business people. They want to be astronauts, whatever it may be. You all have a dream. And so if, if you just set your mind to it and you never give up and you never consider a failure a failure as long as you learn from it then you can't help but be successful so no music is your focus right now can we expect anything from you after this album yes absolutely um the album's going to come out and uh hopefully depending on how well it does uh we'll set up a small tour around the southeast um and we'll have a big show out in um, atlanta at the vinyl which is a dream come true to be able to play in atlanta um and so we'll do that and then more music to come. We'll, we'll let this ride for about six months, I say, and then probably another single and then another album. So we'll just keep it going. As long as the fans want the music, then I'm, I'm going to continue to put it out because I, I love to do it. And I'm sure the fans can expect some upcoming performances, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. If someone wanted to attend these performances, what can they do to find out when and where you'll be performing? Um, if you just go to my Twitter or my Instagram um, or even my Facebook, I try to keep it up to date, uh, as up to date as possible. And it'll have all my shows and, and when I play and where. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Things I Never Said will be released this Sunday, July 24th. If you pre-order pre it, of course, you'll get the single Finally Famous. So thank you again so much for coming in. We really enjoyed having you. And thank you for tuning in. For Eagle Eye TV, I'm Casey Cooper.